local history, you should head to the Philbrook Museum today and 2 News re reporter Brandon Richard shows us more. Well, good morning, Brian. We're back at the Philbrook Museum. We've been talking to Catherine Whitney, and she is the museum's chief curator. We've been talking a little bit about Max Weber. Obviously, you have a new exhibit going on. Uh, and this first room we're in, this is after he's gone to Paris and has been influenced by some of the artists there, right? Right, exactly. Um, he was in Paris from about 1905 to 1908, and he really was submerged in the Parisian avant-garde, uh, met Picasso, took classes under Henri Matisse, was very friendly with Henri Rousseau, and he brought a lot of this French modernism back to America and became very important for introducing a lot of the French modernism to American audiences. He also became very important as America's first Cubist, so this first section really shows a lot of this, um, this French influence in his art. Mm -hmm. and, and some of the Cubist works in here, right? Yes, um, the first section is very much about French modernism and almost the um, influence of Picasso and the exotic. And then he starts getting very intrigued by dynamic movement and performance and starts exploring Cubism through the figure, through dance performances and musical performances and almost equating um, visual arts with the performance arts. So we have some really exciting and obviously very dynamic paintings here from all around the country. We've loaned some pieces from the Museum of Modern Art in New York, from the Smithsonian, from some private collections, and also from the artist's estate. So it's very exciting uh, for Tulsa to have a lot of these pieces here. And he had some critics of some of this work, didn't he? Yes, he um, he had a very rough start um, critically and in terms of his sales. And one of his first shows, um, the critics described his human figures as travesties of the human form and ugly color and horrible composition. But he really did um, break boundaries, I think, and introduce Cubism to America. And later in his life, he was considered sort of the godfather of modern American art. And we'll see some of the artwork a little later on uh, in the show. But for now, we'll send it back to Brianne, who has some more information for you. Well, thank you, Brandon. The Philbrook Museum is in Midtown Tulsa near 31st and South Peoria. The show is open now, and it runs until February 3rd. For more information, go to philbrook.org.